had to put the windows up. This thing is kind of loud and rowdy since I got tuned. Once again, shout out to Alpha Speed Golf Coast for tuning my car. I love it. I'm all I'm falling in love with it, and I would not want to get rid of this car for anything other than my R8. Just letting y'all know. So if y'all happen to find an R8 for me, then for a cheap price, a very 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 cheap price, very still, let me know that. But as of now, I'm headed to Mikey's house because we have a surprise that we want to show you guys. Today, we, and I say we because it's one of my homeboys, but Steven is going to be taking delivery of his C8 Corvette. About it. Tell me about it. Yep. I don't know anything better. I like really? it as much as the Hurricane that we rode in. Like all of the, whenever we rode in the Hurricane, the Ferrari, and the Maserati, I would prefer to ride in that car. As ride quality, that one is better. I the Hurricane had brakes. I can't believe brakes are great. And that's not it's even the that's that's not even the Z51 brakes. You see that you get that brake like that much. You ready? Exotic look. I wish you would have got the spoiler, but even without it, I like the coupe-ish look of it. And then it's mid-engine, so I don't know. It just looks real nice. I'm not sure what kind of package he has on it, but yeah, look at this thing. You want to ride, Brian? Or you want to drive? At the same it's time. definitely a nice car though. Here's your phone. Call. I'm ready for the black top wheels and the wing. <laughs> I guess y'all already have that ordered, huh? Well, no, the wing was supposed to come with the car, but it's on factory back order. Oh, okay. So we're waiting for General Motors to get the wing. Okay, gotcha. Are y'all going to lower it in it or keep it there? Well, it is a rental car, right? Oh, yeah, we'll so, probably just keep it like this. Yeah, I just thought about that. Yeah, it definitely. Is. I don't know. I, I can't get over like it's a mid-engine Corvette, so it's change. It changes like the whole look of it. Yeah, yeah. it's not a vet anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For all that, they could have just changed the name. That's what other people were. That's what the guy at the Chevrolet place was saying. Is that they should have made a different car. Just change the name. Keep the Corvette name with the Lamborghini-ish. Yeah, I think this is actually the second time I've been in a mid-engine car. Oh yeah, because you had been in the that McLaren. Yeah. The previous car that we that I, I've ridden in a couple now that are were mid-engine. I rode in a V6, V8, Audi R8, and uh, we drove the Ferrari 488 and the Huracan while we were in Los Angeles. But before that. The Audi R8 was the only one that I had been in before. Yeah, I think I I really want to push to get an R8 like soon. Mm, I think this is <laughs> way better than an R8. It ain't even comparable. I don't tell you. Really? No. This well, thing yeah, is way I mean, But the R8 is like my dream car, though. Yeah, I know. Well, it should change. <laughs> <laughs> It should be. It's freaking yeah. 10 years newer. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Right. It's not. I bet the new Audi R8 is equivalent and, or better. And it sounds better. I mean, the V10 sounds way better. Yeah. But I think I want to uh, push. 
push to get one. Like the one that, uh, what's his name recently got? Courtney? Courtney yeah, Rowe. Courtney Rowe. Yeah, that, his car is actually what I want, except in manual. Okay. But I think I'm going to go with, uh, like a 2010 or 2011. Okay. But his car, the 2014, is the one I want. Yeah, with the newer front end? Yeah. Let's see, I don't know what. So that's a little too slow for second gear. So it's probably good for that gear. <laughs> it doesn't ever fall off some and then pick up and then fall off and yeah. pick up. That's what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. And then you can change the uh, insurance, the cluster a lot. Here it is. So you have tour, track, um, sport. This is the one that I prefer the most. And then you have track. This would take some getting used to. Oh yeah. I think I don't really like the look of that style. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube say they prefer that. And me personally, I'm I'm like you. I, I don't I like, like the, the bar. Yeah. Look. I like, mean I don't think it's a horrible idea. I don't think it looks aesthetically good. Yeah. I prefer that's how I, am. I prefer the uh, the sport with the instrument cluster like this yeah the red background and stuff like that they did a really good job on that and that might be just because that's what we're used to yeah but like i don't know i, I would prefer that as well though i don't know the bar just i don't it just it's just not my style yeah i think the value uh the the value of the car is supersedes the price of it by far yeah that's this still definitely does and it's got valet mode and stuff so you can actually do a mileage mile per hour limitation too so i could put okay. it in all kinds of different like teenage mode yeah and i can put a pin in to where you can't go over x mile per hour and i'll and with and have a valet mode even separate from that okay so there's a that's pretty cool because when i rent it i think i'm gonna put a a trap uh, a top speed limit on it yeah i don't want people doing 180 miles an hour in this yeah just because mostly because i don't want somebody to kill themselves that and it, it and feels feet, so right? like it feels it makes a person feel too safe yeah that's what i was it. about to say so they yeah. feel like they can always do it and then right they end up slipping and it the can floor. it's just Like, that's just crazy how fast it revs, too. <laughs> oh, the button. Press the button to get out. There it is. Did you like it? I liked it. How much? How much? Not enough to go broke on one, but I liked it a lot. Like, it's the...